Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, this video is going to be a rose quartz tutorial. Um, I'm going to be doing the design on a tip. So we're going to need uh, a few acrylics here. You're going to need a pink. Uh, I'm using Bisque from Nao Nails, which I'm putting as the base layer to the rose quartz nail. So you want to try and keep these layers, because we're going to do several layers, so you want to try and keep them as thin as possible. Uh, I didn't do this one very thin, unfortunately, but it's on a tip, so it's not the end of the world. But on a reel now, you're going to need to keep, it, keep them quite thin, because you're going to have to put three or four layers on. So we're going to start with a pink base layer. Then what we're going to do is wait for that to dry a little, to wait until it starts to go slightly matte. And then you're going to need to start placing your your white lines across the acrylic so i like to pop a line on just randomly and then i like to keep one side of the line sharp and then i like to kind of blend the other one out um i didn't do it very well on this one uh you'll probably see in a minute now i'm going to put two or three of these lines across the nail that bead was way too big and this line I made it way too thick uh, I tried to blend the bottom out but it didn't I wasn't too successful so just pat it down once you've done so ignore that line because that line was a bit of a fail If you've got a picture on your phone or, or your tablet or whatever of a rose quartz stone, actually that might help you because you could sort of follow the gist of the lines on that and I didn't have one in front of me here so I kind of was just guessing. Um, so once you've done your lines you're going to need a transparent pink. Um, the one that I've got here is blush pink from Nao and then you're just going to put a thin layer over your white lines or well, over the whole nail actually then we're going to wait for that to set a little bit again so wait until it starts to go matte and then we're going to go over the nail again with some lines in the white acrylic so I went over a couple of the lines that I'd already done because I wanted to make them stand out a little bit more and then I popped a new line in here. So they can be placed randomly. They don't have to be in any direction or whatever, just however you feel rose quartz should look. Especially if you're having to guess like I did. I think next time I do it, I'll probably look at a, um, a picture of it. <laughs> just to help me out a little bit. So once you're happy with your lines, uh, again, you're going to pop another thin layer of the transparent pink over the top. So you can see how this nail could potentially get very thick. So if you keep your layers thin, you should be fine. So that's the nail with the pink over the top then I just capped in a very thin layer of clear I don't know that I needed to do it actually but it didn't hurt I suppose so that's done so I'm going to leave that to set and then I will file it I filed it off camera because I find filing ever so boring then this is the fun part the top coating Now this nail I just made a very plain rose quartz nail. I have, I'll show you in a little bit, in a few seconds. Uh, I made some, I don't, sorry I didn't make, I created I suppose. Um, oh that's the, that's the rose quartz nail cured in the lamp. Then I've done a couple using um, gold leaf and diamond dust from nail sugar. So that's the, the, the rose quartz, that's the gold leaf one. 
just pop the gold leaf randomly onto the nail and then encapsulated and this one I used diamond dust I tried to keep it on the white lines but when I encapsulated it in the clear some of the glitter um, moved a bit so it, it kind of looked a little bit all over the place but you I mean you don't have to keep it plain you can jazz them up a bit so I hope you liked it thanks for watching guys and as always I'll see you in the next one bye